balance of one uh, snatch balance. Um, heavier than last time, which I'm not going to do. Uh, I'm just going to stay heavy-ish for five reps today. What's, uh, what's your snatch? Snatch is 294.8. 0.8. 134 kilos, something like that. Yeah, 134 kilos. 295. Dope. Just done. So, how many calories do you per day? 3,000. 3,000 on the dot? Yep. You count? Yep. Do the overhead squat event at the games? I did not. That was 2014. Okay. For me. Uh, that year, I tested it right when that was going out and I got 360, I think. Um, yeah. How cool is it being at the games every year? It's pretty neat. I, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm at the point now where I, I think I... It's... I don't make any money at the game, so it's almost just a waste. So, what place did you? What place were you where you were in Indy? Uh, I got 19th in 2016. That's really the only year I've like profited at the game. Okay. So one for four. Okay. Yeah. yeah at least you're there, uh, right? Yeah, being there is really neat and really awesome, but spending three grand to be there is not really awesome. Of course. So, uh, I mean, yeah, sponsors and stuff. They help. They help a ton. On, with that, but what are your sponsors? Still, uh, Fit Aid, Misfit Athletics, Snow Three Labs, uh, Rasty, and I'm missing it. It's like, what am I wearing? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Still I'm working with Chike Protein a little bit sometimes. But yeah, but, um, I'm at the point now where I like need to have a really good group of people behind me for a team for the games. If I'm going to show up and make some money this year, I'm not super confident because we haven't been able to train together. Um, Who's your ever, team again? Uh, Alexis Johnson, Roy Gamboa, and Jen Smith. We'll, we'll be very competitive, but um, there will be some teams that just beat us because they train together all the time. Um, definitely a really talented group, but we're not together. Yeah. So. I feel you. Uh, and I think everyone on my team understands that as well. I've, I've talked to Alexis about it, I've talked to Jen about it, I've talked to Roy about it. It kind of is what it is. So ideally, your team next year would be people that can be training with you? Um, hopefully. We'll see. I may go somewhere next year because Alexis is leaving me and my other training partners left me. So, And I hate, hate being alone. It sucks. So it's terrible. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see what I end up doing. Um, but it'll, 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 the most important part for me is I need, I need to be having fun. Um, with this team this year, I've had more fun than any other group of people. So and social, we go, it looks fun and social. Yeah, whether, I mean, whether we go win or not, like doesn't really matter. If we, if we have fun, we're gonna end up doing really well. So. What do you think about the changes they made this year? Probably asked this question 50 times. Right? This season? Yeah. yeah. I love them. You love them? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I get to go do 10 more events than I normally would. It's fucking great. That's awesome. But, uh, it's more money in it for sure now. Yeah, huh? definitely more more money opportunities. Like, like I was saying, like, I don't really care for the games. Like, next year, I may not even, like, go to the games unless I feel like I can, like, win. Okay. Like, I might show up to a, a ton of sanctionals. Pocket some money where I can and just. I feel like people are doing that. Like they want they they already, already qualified for the games, but you still see them yeah, as yeah. nationals trying to win because they're so trying to make the money. That's what I would do. And I mean, like on a team, if I can qualify through an event that also pays me a bunch of money, great. Um, I may not show up to any events that like barely pay out or you know break you even yeah. on your trip. So. 
We'll see. So that, I think that puts me at like California, Waterpalooza, Rogue if they have one again, um, Granite Games, Dubai. We did well in Dubai like this year. I'll definitely do that again. So my my dream is to be at Waterpalooza because I just see it and it's electric. Yep. What do you th what do you think about that one? Um, it's been my second favorite competition of the year. Your favorite every year. Favorite Pensacola beach brawl. Really? Just because it's small, it's a beach. It's very simple. You won that one. I won last year, so it's been back and forth the last four years. Two more. There you go. <laughs> Thirty-three. Ish. Do you ever um, pay attention to your heart rates when you're working out? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. That's, what do you want? that's what. That's the only way I can do what I do. If I obviously, if I get too out of control, then I have to. Then I'm dead. So I have to really like. I have to go fast, but I have to monitor it. I gotta, like, okay. Hey, we're, we're rolling too fast. But you don't use a heart monitor. No, no, no. no not, not like that. You just feel it. You can feel it. Pretty easy to feel. You, you, everybody knows when they're starting to get to a, not such a good place. Yeah. Like, so you gotta, you do enough CrossFit, you know where that place is, and you don't go there. Yeah. Until the end. Do you, do you do you go there often? Absolutely. Okay. Like at the end of a workout, so I'm eyes closed, holding on, going as fast as I can. Like, obviously, that's not. At the end of the workout, it's not 100% by any means. It's we're, we're trying to hold 90%. Trying to hold it. Trying not to fall off. Like doing everything we can not to fall. Nigga, we made it.
Recuerda los besos que me dabas y por ti me sentía 